Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? Just when you thought we were done with Moon Knight cards, they just pull me back in. <laughs> Blue and I are so excited to hear this news. And I had to tell them before recording all this stuff, I was like, dude, you have to hear what they announced today. Marvel and Upper Deck released a little video that we're going to do a reaction to. And it tells you about this card series that's coming out that we heard about on Spidey Hits' channel. And I'm going to try to put a link to that episode down below. And we've been waiting for more news on this, Blue especially. And he's been asking people, trying to figure stuff out. And all we knew was that it was going to cover maybe eight or nine of the Disney Plus shows of the Marvel Universe that came out during Phase 4. So it was going to be like WandaVision and Loki, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I believe Hawkeye was in there too. And also She-Hulk and Moon Knight. And uh, not What If though, but I think that they might try to squeeze in the specials, the holiday specials of the Guardians of the Galaxy. But definitely Werewolf by Night was listed on there. So we're excited because we would love some Werewolf by Night cards. And anytime we're going to get more Moon Knight cards, obviously we are in. We are sold. So without further ado, let's go ahead and react to this trailer and check out what these cards are going to entail. I heard that they might have two autographs per box, which was just mind-blowing. So I have no idea how much these are going to cost. With odds like that, you know, they might raise the price on them. And there's 130 cards in the base set. But they're going to focus and base this off of some sports cards, like baseball cards that have come out that have debut cards and rookie cards. And it's all these characters' first time into the MCU, at least most of them. And so, like, not Loki, obviously, or Falcon or Winter Soldier, but a lot of the other ones, like She-Hulk and everything, they're going to enter the Marvel Universe for the first time. Daredevil. So there's a chance to get a Charlie Cox autograph, which is awesome. Uh, so, uh, and with autographs being as frequent as two per box, I cannot wait. So here we go. Let's check out this trailer, and we'll talk a little bit more during and after as well. All right, from shows on Disney Plus. Introducing debut cards, two autographs in every box. So that is correct. Awesome. Oh, cool. Monica Rambo and Titania. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so six debut cards in every box. Okay. Oh, look at those designs. That's pretty cool. You got Cap there. You got Kate Bishop. Okay, so it'll cover Hawkeye. Cover Loki. You got Sylvie here. So it'll be cool to talk about all these shows too and as we're opening packs. I'm, I'm excited. Portraits. Hmm. I like black and white, but I don't know if I like that. Oh, a marquee. That's a cool looking card with Werewolf by Night. Lunchbox Legends. All right, behind the scenes footage. That's cool that they're doing that. Doing canvas cards. Okay. And you got the debut again, like I said. 1995 Collector's Choice Retro Cards. One in every box. What are those? Look? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. One holographics card in every box. Wow. Mobius. Oh, I'd love to get a Mobius card. Holy cow. Blue Dazzlers. One in every box. Oh, and they show Conchu. That's so cool. Uh, we got our collection continues, right? Look, look for exciting case hits as well. We got Pink Dazzlers with Monica Rambeau there. Oh, and fl Fluorescent Red with Loki. I love that. Collect 130 card base set, which includes 30 debut cards. Okay, so it's 100 cards base set and then 30 of the, the debut cards. Oh, Matt Murdock. That's so cool. We're going to get cards of him. I'm excited. Six cards. Uh, no, wait. Six boxes. 24 packs. What did that say? Uh, that's awesome. Um, so it looks like there was five cards per pack six boxes per case and 24 packs per box that's awesome that's really good so um that's a lot of cards <laughs> that's actually that's a lot of cards per box um so very cool I'm, i mean for me like so what is that 120 cards per box if you're getting five cards per pack 24 packs times that by five yeah i think that's 120 so um that's good that's a lot of cards per box i wonder again how much is it going to cost is it going to be a Probably not a $110 box, most likely. I would love that. That's a killer price for those. Uh, that's like a dollar a card, a little, a little less than a dollar a card. So I imagine it's probably going to be closer to $150. Um, hopefully not too much more than that. But like I said, with two autographs in every box, and if they're doing only six boxes per case, I think that I saw somewhere that they might do 12 boxes per case as well. So I, I saw a couple of different posts. So who knows which one's which, or if they're doing both, that could be it. And I don't know if they're going to do blaster packs for these. I would love to see blaster boxes of this set as well, like at you know Targets or Walmarts and everything, um, or the Upper Deck website. And we'll follow the news, me and Blue, and we'll bring more news to you when we have it. But for now, 
this series, series one. I don't, hopefully they'll get to do a series two, but the other stuff they're going to talk about in series two probably won't have Moon Knight in it, probably won't have Werewolf by Night since they're in this series. So for us, this is probably our, our last big bang on trading cards for Moon Knight at least and Werewolf by Night for some time until we start seeing other Marvel sets come out you know, in 2025 and, and what companies release those. We still don't know. So let me know what you think, though, of this news down below. I'd love to hear it. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Blue might keep an eye out if there's any comments and he might chime in on information he finds. Um, and I told him he could also post comments and pin them if he wants, if he gets any updates. So we'll see, you know, like we'll, we'll keep an eye out and uh, hopefully get more information soon. But we're going to order our boxes from Steel City. So I'm going to put a link to them down below. They already have the pages made for them and they show off some of the cards, some of the art that you saw popping up. That came from Steel City's website. So again, I'll put a link down below so you can check out their box page for a hobby box and you know for their six box case. Uh, I'll put both links down below and that's where we're gonna order ours from. Awesome, awesome people. We love them over there. And maybe if we get a chance, we'll have them open a box and do another reaction like we did with the Moon Knight cards. We'll have to try to work that out, but hopefully that happens and that'll be a lot of fun. I would love to see Brett open a box for blue and then again, pull fire and pull some really good autographs. Um, so yeah, let me know again what you think down below and we'll keep an eye on this set and we'll bring more news to you when it drops. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.